So as you guys saw from the title, Global is finally going to be getting another world tournament very, very soon. It's going to be starting on July 2nd or Thursday at 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and ending on July 5th, which is right before the five-year anniversary begins. Now, this is a big deal for two reasons. Number one, it's literally been over three months since the last world tournament on Global with the Kale and Khalifla, right? So people are just itching for another world tournament to grind. Like usually I don't ask for them because I hate the mode. I think it's just super outdated, super boring, but it's at a point now where like, I'm actually hoping to, you know, grind a little bit because I haven't had much to grind for quite some time on Global, right? Number two, this is another major source of free stones right before the Blue Gogeta and Vegito Blue Banners drop. It's going to be about 50 for most people if you complete all the missions and also do your dailies. So yeah, good chunk of stones, another free multi right there. And obviously uh, we need as many stones as we possibly can get. A lot of people keep asking me, yo Tiger, how many stones is it going to take me to pull Vegito and Gogeta? And honestly, like it's an impossible question to answer because you never know how RNG is going to treat you. But what I can say is that you definitely want as many stones as possible. So about 50 stones available here for this upcoming world tournament. It is the 33rd world tournament on global for anybody that cares. And in today's video, I want to quickly take you guys through what you can expect, any new stuff that we can get and uh, all that good stuff. All right. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And of course, this world tournament is going to be similar to a lot of the other world tournaments we've had, but we do get a few new things. Of course, there's going to be a new world tournament reward unit, which is the Tech Mecha Frieza, and two new Dokkan Awakenings for existing world tournament units, the Tech Good Boo, as well as the Tech Mercenary Tao. We'll go over their details in a second, but uh, let's move on to the rewards here. So as you can see, for placing number one in the world, which... There can only be one person. It could be one of you guys watching. It's definitely not going to be me because I'm not no lifing it for like three days in a row. But if you are placing number one, you will get 15 copies of the Tech Mecha Frieza, a buttload of orbs, like more orbs than you can probably use for a while, and uh, some medals, some training items, all that good stuff. And basically, all the rewards in the top like 100 or top 200 are really, really solid. Like even at top, you know, 100. You're looking at like enough orbs to rainbow like two copies of each type of unit and uh yeah just a lot of good stuff in the top 1000 but let's say you know we talk about a more realistic ranking like top 10,000, for example you're still getting you know two extra copies of the mecha frieza so that's bottom left or bottom right and top left and you're also getting some kais you're getting some extra medals training items and uh, it's still pretty solid. Now, if you want at least one extra copy of the Mecha Frieza, just, you know, for an extra dupe, then you will have to place in the top 20,000, which usually is not too difficult. But for this one specifically, I feel like it might be a little bit more competitive, not because people are hyped for Mecha Frieza, but more so because it's been such a long time since we had a world tournament on Global. And number two, because it's close to the anniversary and there's a lot more people just playing again you know a lot of people that left the game that got bored that decided to do something else but now are back because they want to pull for Gogeta and Vegito so I feel like this one might be a little bit more difficult to place in the tw top 20,000 but they're most likely guaranteed a spot in there if you get like 40 million points or so but don't take my word for it all right so those are the rewards and obviously when you go below 20,000 they get uh, a little bit more rough you know, no no Frieza here for 50,000, but you still get two Kai's, which is good. And uh, yeah, so those are the ranking rewards. There are also some special rank rewards, which a lot of people I feel like don't know about. And this is something you can't really control because it's completely random. But if you end up having a rank that has three repeating digits, then you get an extra copy of the Tech Frieza. If you have a rank that has four repeating digits, like 1111 or 2222 or something like that, then you get an extra Kai. And uh, if you have a rank with five repeating digits, then you get three silver SSR tickets. I mean, this is just like random information that's like cool, but can't really help you because you can't really, you know, purposely 
have a rank with like three repeating digits, right? And uh, as far as local rewards go, as you can see, no Demon King Piccolo, all right? Still LR Yamcha as the World Tournament LR at the moment, but you can get seven Dragon Stones if you place number one, so that's pretty awesome. And if you place in the top 10, you'll still get Dragon Stones. You get um, one stone for fourth to seventh, and then for second and third, you get three Dragon Stones, as well as copies of Yamcha up until 150th. And uh, I mean, if you guys are still missing copies for Yamcha, then it's definitely still worth trying to get the two copies, because after this World Tournament, we should be switching over to Team King Piccolo, and it's going to be harder to actually get the dupes, right? So if you guys want to finish him, you know, get him at least duped out, then getting a couple copies wouldn't hurt. So that's the local rewards. And then there's also, of course, the total win missions up to 20, uh, where you can get a couple dragon stones, a couple tickets, as well as some gravity chambers. I mean, not too exciting here, but still nice to get. And we also have the tier rewards, which you just naturally progress through as you do your grind. And I think at like 5 million points or something like that, you reach the Beerus tier. And through this, you can get actually 12 Dragon Stones, which is nice. And then for your score rewards or total point rewards, it's uh, up to 30 million as always. And then at 23 million points, just like before, you do get the World Tournament Reward Unit guaranteed. But I do recommend you guys at least, you know, do up to 30 million points just for the extra Kai's, especially because we got a bunch of new units coming for the tournament, or not tournament, the anniversary. And these Kai's will definitely come in handy. So those are the total point rewards. And finally, oh, oh there's also um, consecutive wins, my bad. So up to 20 consecutive wins, you'll get some stones, get some oh, one Kai, and some tickets and all that stuff. And then we have the extra missions. So there's one stone guaranteed for advancing to the semifinals for the first time. But I also, of course, would recommend you guys do these daily missions too. So every day for the three days during the world tournament, you can get up to three stones for completing five total runs of the world tournament. At five wins, you get two stones. At one win, you get one stone. So you multiply that by three. That's nine stones right there. And once you do all the math, you add everything up, that is about 50 stones. I might have miscounted like a couple, so I might be off by a little bit, but I think it's around 50 stones. If you rank first in your local area, that's, a, that, that's an extra seven stones right there. So you could potentially get up to like 57 stones for this world tournament, which is pretty good for one event, right? And it's not even that much effort. I mean, I guess placing high in your local, depending on how lucky you get, could be kind of tough, but the other stuff is not too hard to get if you just get the consecutive wins and the points and that stuff. And that's pretty much all there is to say about this World Tournament, guys. Like I said, it's pretty similar to your other ones. They didn't make any changes to the actual gameplay or anything like that, even though I wish they would have. It's just not a thing yet. Hopefully at some point, someday, you know, for some special event maybe, they actually give us a different World Tournament. But I don't know, maybe I'm asking for too much. Okay, moving on to the actual units now. We got the Tech Mecha Frieza. His leader skill is Tech Types, Extreme Tech Types, key plus two. HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. Super attack causes supreme damage and lowers attack. And his passive is attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when there is another Wicked Bloodline category ally attacking the same turn. And revenge category allies attack plus 20% and defense plus 10%. So overall, pretty solid unit. Obviously, he will be better once he gets an Extreme Z, or sorry, Dokkan Awakening. But uh, even, you know, like this, he's not bad, right? up to 120% attack and defense, and also providing 20% attack and 10% defense to anybody in the revenge category. His links are Prodigies, Universe Survival Saga, or sorry, Universe's Most Malevolent, uh, Revival, Mechanical Menaces, Strongest Client in Space, and Fear and Faith. And categories are Resurrected Warriors, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Android Slash Cell Saga, Terrifying Conquerors, Target Goku, Revenge, and in Inhuman Deeds. Inhuman Deeds. And then after that, we have the Token Awakening for the tech, Mr. Boo. And his leader skill is all types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack. By the way, he Token Awakens from this Boo right here. Some of you guys might recognize him. 
and his passive is attack and defense plus 80% changes int key spheres and key spheres of another type to rainbow key spheres. So he has the ability to change two different kinds of key spheres into rainbow key spheres. And then attack and defense plus 20% and recovers 15,000 HP per rainbow key sphere obtained. So if you get five rainbow key spheres, which is the max you can get in a turn, then that is 75,000 HP, which is really good. And also uh, an extra 100% attack and defense on top of his 80%. So that is the boo right there. Lynx, Innocence, Revival, Master of Magic, Majin, Infinite Regeneration, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. Categories, World Tournament, Resurrected Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Form, for the Arrivals, and Majin Power. So there's that. And uh, nothing else to talk about him. So moving on to, lastly, the Tech Mer or sorry, Cyborg Tau. I call it Mercenary Tau before, right? Cyborg Tau. Leader skill is Tech Types, key plus two. HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. Super attack, raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And his passive is attack and defense plus 120% and attack guaranteed to hit when performing a super attack. So basically, his attacks cannot be avoided. And attack and defense plus 20% with each attack received up to 80%. Links, Crane School, Supreme uh, Warrior, Coward, Revival, Dodon Ray, Brutal Beatdown, and Shattering the Limit. And his categories are World Tournament, Resurrected Warriors, Siblings Bond, Revenge, and Earthlings. And that's it guys. That is the uh, Cyborg Tau. He token awakens from this Cyborg Tau right there. And that is the 33rd World Tournament guys. Now as far as Demon King Piccolo goes, he was added to the game files for global in the previous data download, but I don't think he's been translated yet. And he also is just not ready for a release. So we should be getting him in the next world tournament most likely whenever that happens it's been three months since the last one so the next one could be another three months away hopefully not hopefully it's sooner than you know that but we'll see um Demon King Piccolo though should be coming for the 34th world tournament this is the 33rd one anyways that is today's video guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys are excited for this upcoming world tournament uh let me know in the comments down below if you guys plan to actually go in on the grind or are you only going to be doing the missions and calling it a day either way i do recommend everybody to at least do the missions the consecutive wins total points total wins and uh, dailies because it's just worth it for the stones but otherwise i mean if you don't care too much about ranking like in the top 20k or whatever then it's all good Anyways, that is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.